Hey, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Real Estate Stories. I am Robert Greenblatt, the real estate whisperer. And with me today, of course, is Mason. Hello. <laughs> so today we're going to help you figure out, is your home overpriced? Are there clues that you may have priced your house too high? And look, I think every real estate agent can say guilty <laughs> at some point, right? At some point, either we misread the data or we or misinterpreted the data or a client felt strongly about the numbers and we're not perfect, right? Uh, we can only interpret what we're given, but there's so many factors when it comes to pricing a home, but there are clues. Once you get your home on the market, there are definite clues which will tell you, is my home overpriced? Mason, what's one of those clues? How many showings did we have? Yep. You know, if, did we have at least 10 showings? You know, For every 10 showings, we should have at least one offer. Right, so in the first few weeks of your home being on the market, just let's call it a typical suburban neighborhood in a typical price range, uh, nothing unusual about the house. In the first few weeks, did you have enough showings, right? Do the pictures look, assuming the pictures look good and the marketing is out there and it's not difficult to show and everything kind of like is normal and you're not getting activity usually, or you're not getting a lot of activity, usually that is a sign that the house actually might be very overpriced. That's the market telling us by the way it's reacting that people just have no interest in this house. So if it's been on the market a few weeks and you have two or three showings, but everything else looks good, man. The pictures look good. It's easy to show. The seller is very accommodating. It's in a price range that's not an anomaly. It's not an $800,000 house in a $200,000 neighborhood. Everything's kind of normal. That's a sign that it might be very overpriced. But what might be a sign, Mason, that it's a little overpriced? There's a few signs, but just, you know, obviously not getting any offers, not enough showings. There's. Yeah. So let me let me clarify that for everybody. So we have the concept of we don't have a lot of showings at all. We just we have just a few showings in a few weeks, but everything, like I said a few moments ago, is normal. Right. So that's a sign that it might be very overpriced. However, what if we do get good showing activity? And the feedback that we're able to get from the agents and the buyers who who toured the house is basically just not constructive, right? But let's say in those first couple of weeks, we had 12, 15 showings, but we did not receive an offer. That's sign number two. So the first sign is we're not getting enough showings at all. Sign number two that we still may be overpriced is no offers. There's kind of a rule of thumb in our business, right? Uh, the rule of thumb in any market is if you have 10 showings on your property, 10, and you don't get an offer, it's usually an indication that the house may be overpriced. And, you know, the argument with that, Mason, right, is that let's just pick a number. Let's say it's a $300,000 house uh, and we're at 300000 but, you know, the seller will negotiate a little bit. Buyers have been conditioned in most cases, especially in the last few years, not to offer low numbers. So let's say to that buyer, it's worth 275. And let's say that the seller's kind of open-minded to that, like, you know, but the seller wants to start here um, and we'll negotiate down here. But what, yeah. what we've noticed in the last few years through this changes in the market is that when a home is priced properly, whatever that means for any given house, it will go under contract. It will get a whole bunch of showings and it will go under contract very quickly. And it will usually in most neighborhoods sell for asking price or a little bit above. When we look at all the data, we go on these listing appointments and we prep, you look at the data. It doesn't matter if it's a $300,000 neighborhood, a 500 and 800. It like doesn't matter. They all seem to show very similar trends, which is you know, 100% of asking price to 
sometimes even 112 or 13, it really depends. But most buyers, most, will not try to negotiate down significantly. So it's still a very price sensitive market, but in a very different way than it was several years ago. It's price sensitive in that if it's priced right, we're gonna get the showing activity and you're gonna go under contract reasonably quick. So it's minimal inconvenience to you as a seller, right? So two schools of thought here or two rules of thumb. If you're not getting showings at all in your house and it's everything's normal and regular for your neighborhood, that's a problem. And if you're getting showings and you're not getting any offers, that's also a problem. So both of those are ways that the market is telling you as a seller that your house may be overpriced. Yeah, for sure. Yep. All right, cool. All right, thank you for joining us today, everybody. Uh, thank you for watching our channel. Please subscribe when you have a chance. If you found this video helpful, please share this video and we will see you again real soon. Bye.